ingredients to make sure a commercial scores on game day. Well, Sean McAllister is standing <laughs> by with the answer. Well, actually, guys, I'm sitting by trying to break in my seat for the big game on Sunday. But, you know, I found out that it all boils down to emotion and trying to figure out which one works. Commercials that celebrate love, something whimsical, magical, exciting, tend to do well. Sometimes commercials have a bit of a downer or, or somber message to them. Those don't tend to do as well. One misstep was um, the GoDaddy commercial, which actually got pulled before it ever aired. The whole commercial followed this adorable little golden retriever going through the woods and up the meadow and getting home to his breeder who says, I'm so glad I found you because I just sold you. And there was such a public outcry against that commercial. For the Super Bowl, generally your commercial is the tent pole of a campaign. It may be the only thing you do. The famous Apple 1984 ad only ever aired once, didn't even show the product, and yet people are still talking about it to this day. Very endearingly, the um, Snickers ad with Betty White. Um, she's now a beloved icon. It was a clever ad. It was fun, and the tone of it was appropriate to the occasion. Um, so I think those ads done really, really well. And you know, guys, Arlene also said to be on the lookout on Facebook and Twitter because a lot of companies are going to be doing some tie-in campaigns online. I think I'm all set here. Have a good game day. Jeez, can we, can he's we already just, in can we weekend say what Jason mode. said in the commercial? No. In the, in, well, in, not the commercial, in the package. I thought it was his house for a it second. It starts, and, and Jason goes, yeah, that's Sean's house, that's Sean's house. I go, that's our green room. That's our small I walk green by room. it every single day for 10 years. Our small, our small. <laughs>